This is political science for class 12 and the topic is ASEAN which is a part of the chapter Alternative Centers of Powers. ASEAN means Association of Southeast Asian Nations and this was formed in 1967 and initially it was signed by five countries. They were Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand and Philippines in the Bangkok Declaration. The reason for signing this declaration was that this was the area of Southeast Asia that was suffering a lot during the Second World War and during the Cold War era also and this area was not area the region was not in a position to join any block led by the two superpowers during the Cold War era and the efforts for the unity with the third world and that is the non-aligned movement they were also not very effective for formal cooperation. So this region looked for the formation of a regional organization known as ASEAN. So the Southeast Asian nations found an alternative as an organization called the Association for Southeast Asian Nations and thus it was formed in 1967 as it was just told. Now what were the objectives? The objectives of this associations are mainly to accelerate the economic growth, to promote social and cultural growth and development, to promote regional peace and security on the basis of rule and law and to follow the principles of UN Charter. UN Charter means the rules and regulations laid in the UNO. Okay, the rules and regulations followed by the countries, member countries of UNO, United Nations Organization. So initially it, there were five countries of this association and later on this was joined by Brunei, Darussalam, Vietnam, Lao, PDR, Myanmar and Cambodia. So this is the background and the reason of the formation of ASEAN as an alternative center of power. Alright. Now, we should know that what are the other things to be performed and looked for by the ASEAN. Here, we know basically that was also an economic organization to revive the economy that was shattered during the Second World War and yes, of course, during the Cold War era also. So, the main thing was to revive the economy here also and to not to get involved in any kind of dispute. And if any dispute takes place, it must be settled through dialogues only. So, that is a particular way of dealing with the situations and issues by the member countries of ASEAN known as ASEAN way. So what is it? That is based on a form of interaction which is non-confrontationist, informal and cooperative. Besides this, they have full respect for the national sovereignty for each member country of this organization. Economically, it is growing strongly 
and it is covering other areas also besides the economic growth in the region and for this it has formed three pillars known as asean community okay so asean community is functioning in these mainly three ways known as the pillars and they are known as asean security community asean economic community and asean socio cultural communities okay so these are the parts of asean community and what are the uh, what what is it acting as it is acting as a regional forum or the place to settle the disputes any kind of disputes peacefully to coordinate and to give security to the countries and to help each other in the security matters and in the for in the formation of the foreign policies and this regional forum officially was formed in the year 1994 and before that they were also having mutual understanding and in 2003 several agreements were signed to respect to be neutral of our neutrality and for non interference in each other's internal matters okay and the asean economic community that aims to create common market fta free trade agreement for the investment for services and for the labor among and between these member countries and it has the vision 2020 also that aims for wider role in global community and it has mediated in conflicts like related to cambodia and east the more and the member countries they meet annually now recently china and india we have moved closer to asean and we have signed the fta free trade agreement with some of the asean states like singapore and thailand and this association is able to interact with its members dialogues with the partners and with other association as it is not involved in any conflict and it is the only regional forum which is considered to be able to act as the alternative power to challenge the us hegemony in near future thank you